Hello, welcome back to Old Duffers Drink Beer. <laughs> also known as 1001 Beers You Must Try Before You Die. Uh, Old Duffers Drink Beer is fine. Yeah, also it works, also that. works. Here again. In fact, I'm a codger, not a duffer. Duffers are bad. Okay, are bad. welcome back to 1001 Codgers. Codgers. You, you must, you must <laughs> laugh at before you die. Uh, here well, again must. for more beer. I've got a beer here from Germany. First brewed 1954. Ooh. It's 11%. What? What? I know. That's crazy times. And it is Echo 28. My God, it's special brew. Uh, and it, it's got a tiny label. I was saying to you before we started that it, it just looks like something that's a ludicrous amount of alcohol because it's it's wrapped up in gold and silver with a very small label because it's obviously really posh because it's massively alcoholic. It's like It just looks like a packet of Lambert and Butler from the yeah. back in the day. So it, it, it thinks it looks classy. It doesn't look classy at all. Open. Hopefully, it hasn't got any gunk in the bottom, but we'll see. Uh, well, go on, then you can fill mine first. Yeah, I think it has actually. Uh, okay. So Ooh, I'll tell you what. While you're, while you're, oh, it's, it's making a very satisfying. Would you like to read the tasting notes? I was just about to volunteer myself. Yeah. So uh, an amber near reddish in the glass beneath a light yellow head of foam. On the nose, there is an oh. intense aroma of molten fruit. It's not bottle conditioned. Hooray! Eku 28 is full bodied in the mouth, sweetish, but also clean and fresh before reaching a long, rich, and warming finish. Booze! Okay, right, <laughs> so that's a siphon now. So let's talk about the design. So they appear to have six chocolate coins. It's the first real chocolate coin appearance that we've had for oh, quite no, some well, time. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, we had one earlier, but for quite a single chocolate quite coin. Quite some time. This is full of it's coins. It's got six. Look at that. Six and doubloons. Can we do the usual thing? Can you read nope. what the chocolate coins no, are? No, no chance. They mean Absolutely nothing. no chance. You can maybe see them there uh, up against the, the crown, which I think they've also self-appointed themselves. <laughs> Uh, the fact that it's 1954 and Germany did not have a royal family at that point, they've clearly invented a crown. Uh, they decide they are the kings of something. Uh, there's this 1872 one here as well, which is clearly bollocks. Because I mean, the brewery might have been around, but the, the beer was definitely <laughs> Say not. Say what you think. <laughs> yeah, well, why not? I don't know what term for bollocks is in Germany, but anyway. Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure there's a very long word that might describe it. Yes. <laughs> so we'll talk more about the beer in a minute. Right. But let's, 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 let's refer to the actual glass. So it's, it is amber. Yeah, well, it's getting very, on for, very it's, thin. It's, 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 oh, it's getting on for it's getting on for sort of copper, isn't it? There? Yeah, very thin head. Thin heads that gives you an idea, I think. Um, thin head beer. Well, be quite when, strong. When, you, when you were around, it's it, it looks relatively viscous. It's yeah, not, it's, uh, it's a thick old beer. It's, isn't it's, it? it looks it looks thick. And the, and Let's the, go for the smell. And the head is that kind of very kind of beige, off-white colour. I know you can't smell much, but if it's strong enough, you will smell it. You're going to have to put up with the noise. Can you cope with the noise? Yeah, yeah, I can. God, that's just yeah. booze. Yeah, it's basically <laughs> booze. That, it's, it's their special brew. This I is. thought this might be a, bo a very boozy... St well, it'll kick through. So well, I'll, I'll, I'll I think that. the trouble with this bit is that I can already tell. But I, I don't think I'm going to like it. Just from the smell, it's yeah. sweet. Yeah. And it's... I do not like sweet beers. No, I don't like sweet so beers So I either. don't think I'm going to like this Maybe actually having the having the onset of a cold is a good thing. Cause so, I mean, it. fingers crossed this will not be terrible, but we'll, we'll see. Let's go for it. Proust. Proust. Oh. Too sweet. Too sweet for me. It's special brew, isn't it? The aftertaste is all right, but it is, it's just sweet booze. It's just sweet booze, yeah. And it's, oh, it's got a burn. Oh. <laughs> Somebody no. call Ellie Goulding. No, not, <laughs> not a fan of this. Honestly, can you, can you just post dub it with Ellie Goulding? Burn, 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 or maybe burn, some burn. sort of, or maybe some sort of Bernie Sanders <laughs> video. Oh, God. We'll sit with Ellie Goulding. <laughs> yeah, uh, no. No, I'm feeling my throat now. No. No. I'm enjoying it a bit more than you. I have to admit, it's. Uh, I mean, again, it's just I, so I am strong. I am. I am now slightly incapacitated um, due to my. I mean, it's got. A, I tell you what, this. But it's. It, it. It does taste medis. I can take it. It's medicinal. I can taste that. It's I'm very thick. So and it's much very sweet. burn in my mouth and my throat. 
probably lovely in the winter when it's really cold. Well, maybe, that, well, maybe that's why it's quite useful because uh, for me, this is actually medicine now. This is, maybe this yeah. is when I should drink this. Oh, hang on. Yeah, just at the back of the throat. You're feeling that burn it's now. It's starting mm. to happen. Yeah, yeah you've got yeah, the same yeah, thing okay. on It's starting to happen. I think it might just... Almost like acrid. Because... <laughs> almost like an acrid burn. Yeah, it's... I've, I've never really <sighs> seen the appeal of these kind of beers um, that are just thick. And these, because you can do it with whiskey, but far nicer. It says here, Echo 28 was the strongest beer in Germany for years until another uh, much smaller brewery produced 13% beer. Uh, it says, nevertheless, this is still a beer to be Ooh. treated with care. Mm. Uh, <laughs> it says, somewhat of a cult beer amongst fans in Germany. It was first produced in... First... A, cu- a cult beer. Yeah. So that could mean two different things, kind of, a cult. Special for it... a cult beer, it's still rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can have a cult or something that's a very specific subset with a certain, I don't know, like a cult film. You can have cult films that you can understand. You might not like it, but you can understand why. Yeah. You if not... you get the mindset or the humour yeah, of that film yeah, or whatever. It's a cult film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With beer. Whenever anyone says it's a cult beer, it basically means it's it's just horrible. Well, here's the thing. It's the, the word cult. <laughs> and the alcoholics like it. The word cult can be negative. A cult is not a good thing. Not necessarily. Uh, no. David Koresh, for example. Jeremy and, Corbyn. And big, uh, well, I went for Koresh, you went for Corbyn. I'm, uh, I'm not getting involved in the politics What's the here. bloke in America? I, you know, obviously I'm UKIP. What's the bloke in America who uh, had a cult? Who David Koresh? No, there was another one. Oh, well, was what is those? A river, something or other. It was, uh, there was that guy in Guyana who had a cult. No, there was another guy in America who was like, anyway. Oh, I don't know. That's all stuff. Oh, there's loads of America, cults, isn't it? Come uh, on, come on, America. In the comments below, name your cults. Who are the biggest cults you've got? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is an interesting. An interesting. So, uh, Echo means Erst Kornbacher Brewery, which is the uh, the name of the brewery. So uh, thanks, thanks for that stunning yeah, insight. I know, great. <laughs> and twenty eight uh, refers to beer's original gravity. Okay. Rather than its alcoholic strength. Yeah, it's. I've had worse heavy. You know, the, the kind of the. I suppose the Scottish would call this a. Uh, it's getting on for a wee heavy in a certain, to a certain extent. It's 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 sweet. I it's very heavy to this. Um, I've had better wheat heavies than this. I've I've had. I mean, it's it's just not my kind of thing. It's not no. my kind of thing. No, no. I mean, I, I've said so many times in, on these beer reviews, sweet beers are just that's just the beer style I don't like. Yeah, it's I just do kind not of thing. like. Sweet and perhaps beers. we're drinking it well. Perhaps it's because we're drinking it with mouthfuls rather than gentle sips and a fat cigar and a, a smoking jacket. Maybe that's what we need. Okay, was it was it was it about Jarvis or the Mary White House experience? Maybe that's the thing we need to summon here. Your inner Jarvis. I just think it's. I just think it's. I think it's a beer that certain people will like. It's not. It's not. It's not horrible. It's not really, really horrible. No, it's not horrible. It's just not not what I like. Uh, I do not like a sweet, strong beer. I do not do not like a beer that burns my throat. No, I some people do. Some people like. I imagine someone who's not. Well, no, but here's the thing: if you're like a whiskey drinker, which I'm not, and I still no. can't get into whiskey. You may well like this beer because you're used yeah, to that kind of sensation that's, that's, and that that's feeling. True. I've never got into whiskey, so I've tried my best because it's one that whiskey's one they say people go, oh, whiskey, whiskey, whiskey. I've tried various whiskeys and I've kind of enjoyed them in the once is very much enough way. I really, I really, really want to like whiskey. And now at the age where I feel like I should really appreciate whiskey, every whiskey I have, I don't like. I've had one I liked. I had one I liked because someone, someone at a wedding. I was in the, uh, I was the best man at a wedding recently, and the best man's new brother-in-law. Uh, it was a Scot. The, the, the his wife's family were a Scottish family, and he had. They all had like hip flasks on them. So, of course, uh, the brother-in-law's new. Sorry, my. The, in, in the, the, the groom's new brother-in-law had a hip flask and said, "Here, have a wee nip of this." And I couldn't say no. And you know what? It was quite nice. Uh, yeah, at the moment, it was. You know, I I thought it was fine, but it isn't something I don't. I wouldn't go and order whiskey. Yeah, I'm taking this as basically cough medicine now, and it's working because it's cutting through. So I do wonder. I mean, it's it's tasting pretty, uh, and I know that my senses are a little bit impaired at this point. If I was um, fully fighting fit, I suspect I'll be. Get me. Ugh, kill me now. 
Interesting, it's... given the way they fermented it, it says here they still strictly adhere to the Bavarian purity law of beer. Well, uh, the Germans and purity, I mean, it's a thing, isn't it, through history? <laughs> I don't yeah. know what you're laughing about, I'm talking about beer. Yeah, it is a thing through history about Germans yeah. and their purity. Yes. Goodbye. I think, I think we'll leave that one there. <laughs> Hela Mussolini. <laughs>